Hey guys, it's Arika. So today I am wearing glasses. Surprise, surprise! I know you guys think it's kind of weird because you're not used to seeing me with glasses. But I am getting LASIK eye surgery next week. So I have to wear glasses for one week. So it's probably like the only time and the last time I get to wear glasses. Um, so I'm going to be doing my do-it-yourself high-waisted shorts video wearing these. So I've been looking everywhere for the most perfect, cutest, sexiest, high-waisted, vintage distress shorts, but I can't seem to find the perfect pair, so I decided to make my own. And it's really simple, and I'm not a fashion designer or anything, but I can make it, so you can make it too. And this is what it looks like at the end. So my creation is a pair of Levi's high-waisted, vintage, distressed shorts with a bow on the butt, and they are made from a pair of jeans. You only need three things, a pair of high-waisted jeans from the thrift store, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and already made high-waisted shorts is optional. You gotta make sure you get the correct jeans because you wanna make them as vintage looking as possible and they have to be high-waisted because this is the do-it-yourself high-waisted shorts video. Um, I got mine at Urban Outfitters for $10. Mine are the high-rise vintage flare. You don't need to get flare because we're cutting off the bottom. The back looks like this. I like the Levi's logo because it's really vintage looking. You can get Gas or any other brand. I just, I like the back of this. Um, make sure you try it on. I got a size 25. Um, make sure you um, get a size that fits you because they're high rise and not like the fit of the modern pair. Make sure you get the non-stretchy, the regular, like the hard one. And you know, they look like mom jeans. You wouldn't think that they're like sexy, but we're gonna make them hot. So I guess my roommate's dog wants to be in the video. It's fine. She is Coconut, a Pomeranian. Say hi to her, everyone. So you need a hard wooden surface like this. So I picked this little um, desk table thing. And you will put your vintage jeans on a hard surface. So it lays flat. And then you'll get the high-waisted shorts that you already have and place them on perfectly flat and this is to measure how long you want them to be. I actually want them a little longer than these because I don't want them to be like hoochie short. So I'm going to like actually put it a little lower and then with your pencil since you, you know pencil would come off. You can get chalk too. They have um, like the sewing, the crafting kind. You mark where you're going to cut it. kind of like approximately, you know, where I'm going to cut it. So the marks are, you can barely see them, but right here and right here and then the inner seam, I have it right here and right here. So after you do that, you'll know where to cut it and you'll get your big scissors, you should try to get the fabric ones, and then you'll just, make sure you cut diagonal too, just get that, now they look like this shorts okay so we're like halfway done already and you want to make little holes all you have to do is snap snap and that's how you make little slits like that to make little distressed areas Make sure you don't cut the pocket when you do it high though. And then if you want to distress them more, you can also even take your scissors. Well, that looks sharp. And then take the shorts. You 
see. Ta-da! It's distressed now. It's more distressed. And then all you have to do, I have to take off all these tags and stuff, is put it in the washing machine, and you're done. Yay! If you don't want any extra embellishments on the back of your jeans, um, that was the end of the tutorial for do-it-yourself, high-waisted, distressed, vintage shorts. But I'm going to teach you guys how I made the little bow that you saw on my shorts. I'm obsessed with little bows, so I'm going to make one right here. It's up to you guys if you want to do this. So for the bow, you basically just need to get the extra fabric that you cut off, the legs. Measure about an 8 inch rectangle, um, 8 inches up and down and then across maybe like 4 inches. So you just cut If you want to use a ruler, you can. I'm just going to make one because I don't want to cover the logo for the Levi's on one side. So that is my little rectangular piece that I have. And then you also want to take a little piece, maybe like an inch high, and maybe like three or four inches wide. And this is going to be the middle part of your bow. Okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to lay this on top of the pocket. I'm going to fold the end like that and sew that part. And then I'm going to also sew this part and fold that in so the edges won't be distressed when I wash them. And then I'm also going to do this side and then do this side. So you just sew those parts. So basically I stitched the uh, rectangle at the very edge it's with some simple stitching you can just do that um, just the edges like just a little bit and I did this because I don't want my bow to be distressed but if you want your bow to be distressed and with the strings coming out then you don't have to do this and you could skip this step and basically you just want to place the rectangle over the pocket and you want to get the edge and you're going to fold it like this Kind of like when you used to make those fans in elementary school. I don't know if people do that these days. So it'll be like that. You hold the inside. See, it's like a little fan bow thing. Put that here. Get the edge. And you'll basically just sew along the line on the edges against the pocket. Okay? So basically after you stitch the edge of the bow along the pocket, you get the rectangular piece you had, put it right in the middle after you kind of like refold the bow and loop it around the middle and stitch the middle part all along. So that's just what I did. And then I'll tie a knot and then just stitch the other end of the bow on this side, okay? So that is the completion of my bow. If you look at it closely, it's not perfectly on the edge, but it's just that rect rectangular piece. I fold it like a fan. I use a little small rectangular one inch or two inch piece to complete the middle. And it's just a little stitched on bow. So that's what it looks like. I have a little bow and then I have the Levi's logo. So all you have to do to complete the distressed look is to throw your shorts in the washer and dryer or you can just scrub them and wash them yourself in your sink or something and then just hang dry and then you'll get the whole fringe distressed look so I'm gonna go do that right now so this is the finished final product of the do-it-yourself high-waisted vintage distressed shorts after it's been washed and dried all the fringes come out like this and all the cuts become more distressed this is what the front looks like. It starts at your belly button, high waist, and ends like 
however you want it, the length, however you um, cut it. And the back looks like this. It's up to you if you want to leave all the strings on. I cut off some of them and I leave some on because the more vintage looking the better. And the bow is on this side. Um, it's up to you if you want to do two bows, but I left one with the Levi's logo because I like the Levi's logo. I pair my vintage shorts with a vintage tee. Um, I cut off the sleeves on mine. It's up to you if you want to do that. I like the whole sleeveless look with the bandeau because it's super hot or bandeau under. And so this is the complete look. I paired it with the Steve Madden combat boots too. After you guys watch this video, I hope you guys make your own do-it-yourself high-waisted shorts and you can put it as a reply video so I can approve it. And happy creating!